so in one of your videos, you said that um, when uh, Madi, uh, like semen, uh, when it dries, you can like see it, right? Um, so what should one do if uh, they had nocturnal emissions? And then they see that the semen in their underwear, like it, it was semen, they can see that it's like dry and it's hard and they can see it. But when they see it on their bed, it has basically disappeared after a couple of hours, right? Because some of the semen also got on the bed. So after like five, six hours, they see that there's like nothing on their bed um, and there's like no crust, like there's there's no semen there, they can't find it. So is this semen, is, is this nagis or impure? What, because like what people counts, been... yeah, Ismail, what counts is what you find on your underwear, not on your bed sheet. So the question is, did you see semen on your bed, on, on your underwear? Yes, I'm sure I did. Khalas, this is, that's what counts. You have to go and perform ghusl. Now, whether you saw traces of semen on your bed sheet and then it dried out and you don't see it anymore or not, it doesn't ma matter because semen is pure. So if it dried out and it is not visible anymore, you can still use the bed sheet and sleep on it and you have no problem with that, none whatsoever. And Allah Azza wa knows best.